Hey everybody, this is Trisha Dyko. Welcome to the Happy Empath. I wanted to share with you uh, today a little bit about tough love. And sometimes I need it too, right? So I recently, back in January, went into trying to get something done on my business. And I went into it with a person who was going to help me. And three months later, it is not done. So when I sent an email requesting what, what's taking so long, what's going on, what's the ETA, the response was not doing well, this and that, blah, blah, blah. So I was having this conversation with my husband, and he said to me, well, this is what I'm going to tell you. You, you are very nice, you like to give people lots of chances, and to the point that you end up being taken advantage of, or losing your money, or something else. So I had to stop and think about that. I had to let that kind of sink in and say that is, it's definitely me. As an empath, I always try to give people more, more chances, more chances, more chances. Here's the thing. My gut originally said to me, mm, maybe this isn't the best idea. Right? So I ignored it, went ahead, went to give somebody a chance on something, and it just didn't work out. So I'm sure... As empaths, you guys do this too. You want to give people chances. You want to continue to help them at the detriment of yourself, at things not working out for you, and you end up taking the brunt of it, whether it's losing money, whether it's losing a friendship, whether it's losing a business partnership. And what it came down to me was I stood to my boundaries, I made a choice, I said, this is what I'm doing, and these are the end results, and I had to ask myself, you know, what am I willing to tolerate here? And then I started looking around at other things going on in my life this weekend, because it seems like a plethora of things, situations were coming up that I had to stop and really look at. I, you know, somebody else approached me about a project to do, and I I said, all right, let's do this, but we've got A, B, C, D. Let's take a look at these things. Do you know that was several weeks ago and I still haven't heard? But what I have heard is, well, this is going on. I don't feel well. I don't this. I don't that. Once again, before I got into it, my gut was saying, you know, maybe this isn't the best way to go. Two things. So, I had to stop today and take stock of everything that I'm trying to accomplish, everything I am trying to do, and take a look within and see where's the disconnect. What am I not doing consistently? Where did I stop? And I could tell you a few things. Things have been very, very hectic in my life. I stopped my gratitude journal at night. Oh, I'll do it in the morning. Oh, I'll do this. Oh, I'll do it. And what happens is life gets in the way and we don't do it. So it is making a commitment to yourself to do it. Stop the bullshit. Stop the woe is me. Um, I've noticed behind the scenes on Facebook Messenger, people come to me with issues as empaths. They want help. They want this. So I give them some tools and tips. They want to help. But what I've also noticed is they continue coming with the same issues, the same problems. I, what am I willing to tolerate? Hmm. I've given you tools. I've given you tips. You're not using them consistently. I'm not going to continuously have this conversation with you. It's done. So I want you to look at where in your life you've stopped using your rituals, where in your life you need to create new ones, where in your life you need to have better boundaries, where in your life you have a mindset issue, 
Am I not worthy? Do I feel not worthy? What is going on? And I'm sharing with you the things that are going on in my life as, listen, we all experience it. It's, it's not the end of the world, and we could always make changes. Right now, in this moment, we can make a change. So, I want you to look at what's going on in your life. I want you to look at what you can change. I want you to look at what you consistently be doing. And above all, I want you to be true to yourself and listen to your gut. If you're not, you see what happens down the road. The gut, your gut's telling you no. Your gut's saying don't get involved in this. Your gut's saying move past that. But I want to try. I want to help them. I want to see what I can do. It's not always your place to help somebody. It's not always your place to do for others if they're unwilling to do for themselves. Where's that happening? Take a good look at that. And as we can all hear, a car alarm's going off right in the middle of this. I have my windows open. It's actually raining, but it's, it's warmer. It's nice. It's, I love listening to the rain. It actually soothes me, grounds me. Another great grounding tip, guys. When it's raining, open your windows. Listen to it. All right. Post any comments, any questions that you have. If you want, send me an email at trisha at trishadyka.com. Enjoy the rest of your week.